Hey guys, Mark Kemp from the commandofitnessblueprint.com. I'm going to go through a hip flexor stretch for you today. Um, it's really important to stretch these hip flexors out, guys, especially if you find that you're doing a lot of running or a lot of sitting. Um, basically, so as muscle attaches to your femur and your spine, if it gets really short, you end up, guys, with this anterior pelvic tilt going on. What this does is cause a lot of backache. Um, so people who spend a lot of time sat down in an office, working away on a computer, they're going to get backache. Um, and runners tend to suffer from it as well because the running, the running action obviously uses a lot of hip flexor, okay? So, to do this exercise, guys, knee yourself nice and tall, get yourself a cushion or a mat, put your knee on, we're going to stretch the left side. So we want the left knee on the floor, we're going to bring the right leg forwards, and what we're looking for, guys, is right angles, and then basically straight line here, right angle here, okay? From there, your body tall, squeeze your bum muscles, so you can push your hip forward, okay? So it's a nice, subtle sort of little movement, squeeze your bum, push yourself forward, okay? By squeezing the bum muscles, it actually switches off the hip flexor, allowing you to stretch. If you don't squeeze it, and you simply do this and lean backwards, you're actually going to compress your spine, it's going to be uncomfortable. So, nice and tall body, squeeze your glutes, stretch that hip. Okay, so we've got a stretch here now. So increase that stretch, and I'll raise my arms above my head, and just lean away from that hip. You don't want to lean, you can sway, so try and keep yourself still here. So, squeeze, nice and tall, stretch your arms to the sky, you can feel this stretch all the way down here now, guys. And then just slightly rotate it away. I'm going to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. Keeping that stretch on there. So don't forget to keep breathing. As it starts to ease off, just increase the stretch a little bit. Okay, and then ease yourself back out. I don't know how long that was, I'm just guessing it was 30 seconds. I'll show you the other side, so it's the same thing. Body nice and tall. Okay, so nice and straight here. Bring that leg through. Keep yourself in a nice straight line here, guys. Squeeze your glutes, get this hip flexor stretch. From that stretch there, bring the arm to the sky, reach it up. Again guys, looking for 30 seconds. Don't forget to keep breathing. And as, as it eases off, just squeeze your glutes, ease into it a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I'm going to relax up there, I'm not sure how long that was. Good tip guys is when you do your stretches initially, don't just whack it on, okay? So ease yourself into it, anything more than a three, your body's going to start locking up, okay? So just, just tease the stretch on, as it relaxes, ease it on a little bit more, and then a little bit more. You don't want to go in there guys and really whack that stretch on so it's a 10 out of 10 thing, because it's never ever going to relax, okay? So it's just going to contract a fight against you. So ease it on, let it relax, ease it on some more, and then just Work on those stretches every day, guys, and that will really help straighten your pelvis out, get rid of any lower back pain that you may have. Okay, so hip flexor stretch, and I'm Mark from commandofitnessblueprint.com.